welcome everyone. I'm Laura Shu. This video is one of 76 in my 15 and a half hour Lightroom Fundamentals and Beyond video series available on my website. In this video, I'm going to talk about missing files and folders, why the issue occurs, and how to resolve it. You can see that I have a question mark on my Victoria folder, and I have exclamation points on all of the photos, indicating that they're missing. In the last video, I showed you how to use the Folders panel to move, rename, and delete files and folders. I indicated that not only is it convenient to do that from within Lightroom, but it's also really important. In this case, I ignored my advice and I went out to Mac Finder or Windows Explorer and moved the folder. Lightroom couldn't see that happen, so it's still looking for the folder in my 2006 folder and it's not there. Remember, Lightroom doesn't have its own copy of your photos. It just references them out on your hard drive in these locations. At first, this doesn't look like a big deal. After all, we still see our thumbnails here, and if I go into loop view, I can see this photo larger, and I might even be able to zoom in on it. However, when I go to the develop module, I get the message that the file could not be found. It's at this point that people realize that they might have a serious issue, and indeed they do. In my Introduction to Lightroom video, I mentioned that Lightroom actually stores three JPEG copies or previews of your photos just for its convenience. A thumbnail size preview, a standard size preview, and then sometimes a one-to-one -one preview. It's the previews that we're seeing here in the library module, not the master files, not our original RAW and JPEG files. When we get to the develop module though, Lightroom needs to read our original files, and if it can't find them, we're out of luck. I've explained why this happens, but let me show it to you in action. I'm going to go out to Mac Finder or Windows Explorer, and I'm going to move my 2005 folder. An easy way to get out to Finder or Explorer to this folder is to right-click on it and choose Show in Finder or Explorer. I'm going to do here what I've told you not to do. I'm not in Lightroom. I'm going to move my folder. I'll move it to the desktop. Then I'll close Finder. Now if I select my 2005 folder, we see that it's missing along with the subfolders and all of the individual photos. If you have question marks or exclamation points, and you know that you've gone out and deleted the files, and you're fine with this, then all you have to do is remove them now from Lightroom. Right-click on your photos or on your folder, and choose Remove. I won't do that now, though. If you've moved or renamed them, or you're not sure what you've done, you'll need to go out to Mac Finder or Windows Explorer and look for them. If the folders are missing, search for your folder. If you don't have a question mark on your folder, but you have exclamation points on one or more photos, that means that you've moved, renamed, or deleted individual photo files, but you've left the folder in place where it was. In that case, you'd search for your individual files. If you don't see your file names here in the grid, type J once or twice, and if you still don't see it, click in any one of these four information fields and choose File Name. Then search for your file names. If you've renamed your files, possibly, you could search for your files by date. Click in a field here and choose Capture Date and Time so that you know what to search for. Of course, I know where I just put that 2005 folder, but I'll pretend I don't. I'll come out to Finder here and I'll search for it. Here it is. I can't tell where it is on my hard drive, and that's what I need to understand. So I'll right-click on it and choose Show in Enclosing Folder. On a PC, you would choose Open Containing Folder. So I see that the 2005 folder is sitting on my desktop. Once I understand where it is, the next step is to tell Lightroom where that is. You'll right-click on your folder and choose Find Missing Folder, or if your folders aren't missing but a file is, click on the exclamation point and choose Locate. Some people think that this is a command to have Lightroom find their missing folder or locate their missing file. It's not, though. 
This is a function that allows you to find it and tell Lightroom where it is. In this dialog, I'll navigate to where my folder is. Because I was just there, it jumps right to it, but normally it wouldn't. Here it is, and I would click on the Choose button. Before I do, though, I'll point out that you have a search box here in the Find Missing Folder dialog. However, I told you to go search for it first and then come into this dialog. That's because I've found that often when I search for files or folders within this dialog, Lightroom doesn't find my files and folders. I don't want you to use this and conclude that your files are lost when they might not be. So use Finder or Windows Explorer first, find your files, then come in to Find Missing Folder or Locate File, navigate to where they are, and then click on Choose. Now I don't have a question mark on my folder, and it shows that it's sitting on the desktop. If I want to move it into Photos Go Here, I'm going to do that within Lightroom so that I don't get that question mark. Now Lightroom is happy, and I'm happy as well. If you have tons of question marks on folders, and you don't want to work through them and resolve them all, you could start over. You could right-click on your folders with question marks and choose Remove, and then import your files again at their current locations. For the import, you'd follow my instructions in my video on importing photos that are already on your hard drive. The downside to removing and re-importing, though, is that you'll lose your Lightroom work. When you choose Remove, that work gets removed from Lightroom's catalog. So it's best to do the Find Missing Folder or Locate command to reconnect them. If you can't find your files or folders, then restore them from a backup if you have it, and put them in the folder that Lightroom is looking for them in. Then the question mark and the exclamation points will go away. If they're nowhere to be found in your backups, in your trash, and you really want to get them back, unfortunately, you are out of luck in terms of your master, raw, or JPEG files, unless you still have a copy on a memory card. But if you don't, and they're completely gone, there is one final option, and that's to have Lightroom extract the largest JPEG copy that it has in its catalog. For example, on this one, I can zoom in. That means there's a one-to-one -one or full-size JPEG copy of my photo in Lightroom's Previews database. I'm going to give you a link here to Jeffrey Friedel's Extract plugin so that you could at least recover a JPEG copy in those worst-case scenarios. If you don't want to go through that extra step and you're okay with losing the files, then again, you could just right-click and remove. The big takeaway I want to leave you with from this video, though, is that if you do all of your reorganization here in Lightroom using the Folders panel, you won't have this problem. This concludes the lesson on missing files and folders. If you've enjoyed this video, check out the full Lightroom Fundamentals and Beyond video series on my website. To find out more about it, click on the I here in the top right and then on the provided link. I'm Laura Shue.